as the Jewish people from ancient days to the present dwell and survived in harvest booths under the protecting wings of God's presence. Bless our entire nation with the shelter of love and peace that helps us to regain our confidence and security. Be with the leaders of our country who in wisdom and compassion seek to establish justice and peace in our nation and in the world. We stand before thee as the world faces very dangerous and troubling times. Serious is the challenge that free countries and America face. We seek peace, but we must safeguard life and liberty from possible onslaughts of godless, ruthless, and unprincipled aggressors. It takes courage to pray meaningfully in the wake of events shaping our lives. It's not that we don't turn to God, we do. We come with our praise and our entreaties, but we strain to hear an answer, to sense God's presence radiating back to us over the abyss that grief and fear have created. When he arrived at Neponset, he arrived at, frankly, a most troubled time in our community. He arrived in October 2001, one month almost to the day after the horrific attack on the World Trade Center that took so many of our neighbors in Rockaway. And he arrived also one month before a terrible plane crash in Bell Harbor, a stone's throw from his congregation's home. During that time, Rabbi May, with dignity and with great uh, understanding led our community through that most difficult time. Following the September 11 attacks, Rabbi Cain, uh, together with other religious leaders in Las Cruces, issued a statement of unity and support at the Las Cruces Islamic Center. He has coordinated clergy participation in, uh, in this year of uh, following 9-11 and uh, has, has worked very hard to bring the community together in that regard. Bring us back to the times of fearless skies and unbridled New York nerve, of tranquil schoolyards and cool back porch nights. You have already granted us a capable messenger for this blessing, our beloved president, and we pray that you strengthen him on his quest. Return us to tranquil times, O oh God. Grace this August body of the United States with wisdom, strength, vision, and clear focus as they seek to lead this nation and as this nation leads the world in the struggle of freedom against tyranny and of good over evil. <laughs> 